everybody, it's Tragic Pumble here. So I am here today with another Kaz video. And um, so this is, so if you watched my video from last week, I did a video about a tattoo artist. Um, so she owned the shop Grim and Hilda's. So yeah, just a little bit of a backstory. So I created a load of Sims that work in a tattoo shop um, that is called Grim and Hilda's. Um, I don't actually think I've got the build anymore. So if anyone wants to see the actual build of the tattoo studio, let me know because I would love to build it again. It was so much fun. Um, so a little bit about this sim. So this is Yolanda. So Yolanda is um, one of the piercing girls actually at the tattoo studio. So she's not a tattoo artist. She does all of the piercings. So all the sims come to see her to get, you know, like a nose piercing, a lip piercing. Um, so a little bit about Yolanda. So she likes, she loves to wear fashion. She really likes to kind of be a bit different, so that is why she has got this lilac hair. And I'm telling you, that hair is high maintenance. She has to dye it so often to keep it that colour. But, um, as you might have guessed, her favourite colour is purple. But yeah, no, she really likes fashion and some of the things that she wears, I mean, I probably wouldn't be confident enough to wear in. So, do you know what, I think this sim is like the inner me crying out, wanting to dress like her but just too scared to. Um, so I really like the sim because, um, so actually a little bit of where the, the kind of inspiration that I had for this sim was from an artist called Yvette. Um, she's an awesome guitarist and that was kind of, I don't know why, but when I was creating the sim I kind of had her in the back of my head. Um, so I tried to like give her, you know, a few tattoos because I was thinking, do you know what, if she works in a tattoo studio you're gonna have tattoos aren't you like how can you work in a tattoo studio and not say oh come on give me a tattoo you know like I can just imagine them all being bored and stuff and being like yeah do you know what I'm gonna get a tattoo I could also imagine her um if she wasn't a piercing person I can imagine her wanting to like be a like critic in fashion and stuff so like writing articles doing like you know different like fas fashion branding and stuff like that um, so another thing that I kind of thought about her character was um, that she was like a bit like the mother hen in the shop. So like when anyone had issues, they would always go and speak to her. And she was always like the really like kind person that would, you know, sit and put an arm around her shoulder if she needed to. So that was the kind of vibe I was I had from her. Um, so the CC that I've used um, it is all listed on my Tumblr. Um, but yeah, like... She's, again, um, as I might have mentioned in previous videos, I um, found a file full of recorded videos. So these were actually recorded ages ago and I don't actually remember most of her outfits. Um, I mean, when I see the pictures, I'm like, oh yeah, I do remember. But um, yeah, I created this a long time ago. So a lot of the CC that I used, I don't remember who the person is. Um, there is a particular person actually that I used when creating it. I'm trying to think if I can remember who their name is. Let me think. Because when I was creating a lot of her stuff, um, I remember I found a CC creator at the time. And um, a lot of her outfits come from the same CC creator because, yeah, they're honestly, they are so good. And they kind of do that. Um, I don't know what kind of vibe it is really. It's like I can't even think of it. It's kind of it's a bit out there, and there like so it's like tea dresses and it has like chains in it and stuff. Like yeah, I think you'd have to be really confident to wear it. So I'm just having to scroll through now to see if I can find who the person is because yeah, that is mainly where a lot of the inspiration from our outfits came from, and they. I think so they've re so you see this outfit there so this like purple tea dress with um the chains in it so a lot of it well, a lot of the stuff that I used was from the creator that done this one and um so it's that kind of vibe that you know chains and oh, what what vibe is that come on write in the comments I don't you know I don't really know I just kind of looked at the dress and was like yeah I like it looks awesome um why not give it a go but I don't actually know um yeah, what? Let's have a look. I'm just having a look on my Instagram now to see which. Aha, here we go. Avel Sims. So I've got her on uh, Tumblr as well. So Avel does loads of outfits and stuff. 
I hope that's how I say your name. Apologies if it's not. But she does a lot of outfits where they're really bright colours and they've got like chains on them. But she does so many swatches. So you can like just have an all black dress if you wanted to. But she has all the bright colours as well. And I felt for this character, she was more like the purples and, you know, quite bright colours. So yeah, go and check out Avel. As I said, you can find all of the CC to the sim on my Tumblr. Um, so at the moment, we're just having a look is that bedwear? Yeah, we'll have a look at bedwear. There's the uh, go-to slippers that are in-game. Yeah, I mentioned um, in my previous video that I haven't actually used EA game, not EA games, like EA, like Sims clothes in yeah, ages. I've literally just been going to custom content, haven't bought any of the kits because I, it's not that I don't see the point, it's just that I can't be bothered spending money when I don't have to. Um, but I mean, I really want to know whether the kits are any good because I'll be honest I haven't even seen many people banging on about them and the reviews that I've watched on them they, they haven't been like yeah you need this pack it's very much like meh give or take it's, it's all right I'm kind of happy I've got it not like you know you don't have to have it so I'm like well what's the point don't really want it then so we're just moving on to um the party wear now so the thing with um, when you do choose hair colours that are this colour, because this isn't, I'm pretty sure that this isn't an, an EA swatch, I'm pretty sure this is a swatch from somewhere else. So something that I, that annoys me quite a lot is if you obviously choose that hair colour, then you've got, a, you can only choose um, like specific, specific hairs that have that colour as well. So there isn't a lot of like different ones that you can have so I'm pretty sure throughout this whole video she has got pretty much the same hairstyle or maybe a, like one other different one such as this one um, again as you can see right now I mean apart from um, Avel's clothes I yeah again went for the very like black tones and stuff and I really was I'm really trying to stop using that so I do have a few videos that will be coming up soon that are completely different they're not like there's not very much like black clothing at all um and it is a bit more like colors and a bit more bright and stuff so the other thing as well that i've been trying to do and i've i find it really difficult is i sometimes make my sims like faces all look very much the same and i think a little bit like for me i always find that my sims are sometimes are just a bit too pretty and i want them to not be like pretty sims i want to have a variety of different people that all look you know different like just completely different but no i really struggle with trying to like try different things like i'll always go to the same nose shape always same like lip shape and stuff and i'm trying to get away from that to try and make it a bit more versatile um same with bodies and stuff so i've been trying um i haven't got any videos recorded but on my instagram i've been trying to use all different types of body shapes as well just to make it a bit different a bit versatile because you know we're not all the same size we're not all you know small we're not all large so i have tried to make all different types of sims and i mean eventually what i would like to do is um have it so that you can download the sims into your game but some of the reason why i haven't done that is because previously there's been some cc content that's been behind paywalls and i'll be honest i've been so tempted to get it that i did end up buying it so i don't know what you know the rules are between me sharing these and give giving those that content away and I'll be honest, I don't remember I don't remember which ones were behind paywalls and which ones are, do you know what I mean? So I've, I'm always a little bit, I'm in an R because I don't mind sharing stuff with any of you guys. I'd love you to use my Sims in your game, but I don't know where I stand on giving you content that's behind paywalls. Like if that was me, I don't know if I'd be entirely happy, but yeah, bit, bit of a tricky one. But I mean, what I might do in the future is actually go through each sim, see which ones are behind paywalls, and then hopefully you can download it. The other thing as well that I'm slightly worried about is, um, so you might notice that the tone of my sim is slightly different to the one that you're looking at in your game. And the reason for this is when I create a sim, I use the reshade dove. If you want to know anything about reshade, have a look at Paul Pancake's video. He explains how to download it, how to put it into your game, the differences between it. But I use reshade all the time. I think quite a lot of people know about this now, but it basically changed the shade of your game. Um, so if you were to download this sim and have it in the normal sims shade, their skin tones do look slightly different and it might 
personal opinion, I don't think they look as good. And that's also like makes me slightly worried for people to download it because I think they would think, oh, I'm downloading exactly this. But being perfectly honest, it's not exactly this because I do use Reshade, but that's just how I like to play it. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think about me putting my Sims up for download? I'd be really interested to hear. Um, we are shortly coming up to the end of the video and every time I get to the end of the video I'm always chatting and I don't let you guys like see the final sh like sh uh, photos and stuff so I am going to try and be quiet but if you are interested in um, watching more of my videos please feel free to subscribe I'd love to see you next week and um, hopefully there's going to be some more build videos well not hopefully a few week I think next week or the week after I'm going to be starting to doing some build um, build videos and stuff to do with my save file so yeah awesome well i'll hopefully see you all next week bye